Good day, student researchers. Today is another day of exploring and learning research. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to Miss A TV channel. In this video, I am going to discuss to you how to indicate the scope and the limitations of your study. So let's begin with the definition of scope. According to Prieto Naval and Carey 2017, scope is the domain of your research, specifically what is in the domain and what is not. Meaning, this part of your research introduction indicates the coverage of your study. For instance, you want to carry out a study of the impact of lockdown on the behavioral patterns of a certain group of people in the Philippines then you just have to provide or specify your population and their locations. You also have to provide the tools that you are going to use in conducting the study and other important things that you want to include in your study. In here, you also need to indicate the things that you will not include in your study. In this manner, limitations or the limitations should also be provided. As you can see, based on Infermedia Services or IMS, Limitations are influences that the researcher cannot control, meaning they are the shortcomings, conditions, or influences that cannot be controlled by the researcher. While the limitations, according to IMS, are choices made by the researcher which should be mentioned in the study. This means that the limitations are boundaries that you have to set for the study. Limitations and the limitations are factors that can restrict the questions that you can answer or the inferences that you can draw from your findings. The only difference of the limitations from limitations is that the limitations are based on intentional choices you make about where you're going to draw the boundaries of your project or study. As a research teacher, I just ask my students to use the limitations instead of limitations because I think it will be easier for them to set boundaries or restrictions that they can control. Okay, so next let's move on to the scope and the limitations. According to Prieto Naval and Carey 2017, the scope and the limitations of the study sets the boundaries and parameters of the problem inquiry and narrows down the scope of the inquiry. Why do you need to set boundaries? You set boundaries because you need to be as clear as possible on what you will be studying and what factors are within the range of your study. In order for my students to easily indicate this part of their research introduction, I just ask them to indicate all the answers for the WH and H questions just like this. For what question, they just have to indicate the topic or subject of their study. For who question, they just have to provide the respondents or participants of their study. For where question, they just have to provide me all the locations where they can locate or where they can find their participants or respondents of their study. For one question, they just have to indicate when they will start or end their study. For why, they just have to insert the main objective of their study. And for how, they just have to indicate the method that they, they are going to use, specifically the research design, sampling technique, instrument, etc. For the delimitation of their study, they just have to state the reason of the participant's exclusion criteria. That's it guys, we're done discussing the scope and the limitations of your study. In my next video, I'm going to discuss to you significance of the study. Okay, so please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.